Hi guys, it's Josie, and today we have Dale the off-track thoroughbred here. And I thought I would show you what I'm doing with him. It's a very windy day, so hopefully um, you'll be able to hear me okay. I'll tell you where Dale's at. He's been with me for a few weeks now. We've done lots of groundwork. I've also done some ridden work, but haven't really felt like I've got that far with this boy. Um, he's very good on the ground. He's um, not a spooky horse or anything, but as soon as you get in the saddle, he has to go. He just has to go. And I guess that comes from his racing days. He's good on the ground, but under saddle, he has to go. He um, cannot walk. He will, he will walk a few paces and then literally fall into trot. So I'm dealing with that. And also, whenever I touched his mouth, he would throw his head in the air, hollow his back, and go like you see the off-the-track thoroughbreds going when the jockeys are riding them. Very, very bad for the horse uh, from his posture and his skeletal uh, structures to be going like that. So what I've done, and I did this yesterday, so today will be day two, and that's why I thought I'd show you, is I've taken the bit completely out of the equation. So I'm just riding him in a halter. Now his ground works good so that I know that I, ha I can work him in the halter. Don't just chuck a halter on your horse and go. You, you need to teach them. Um, so, and I don't do anything until this horse can walk. If he, it's no good going to the trot if he can't even control himself in the walk, is it? So you'll see me get on him and I'll walk him and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do now. If he um, goes to trot off, I will actually back him up and drop my reins and let him walk again. I'll talk you through it as I go through it. But there's many ways that you can um, deal with this issue. Another one is to turn a circle, but that didn't work with this boy. He also has difficulty standing still after I've mounted him. Uh, so he has a lesson with that every time I get on. So you'll maybe see that today, maybe not. Anyway, we'll see how he goes. So I should be able to get on him and sit here without him going anywhere. And when he does, I just ask him to stop and drop the rein. Ask him to stop and drop the rein. He's not to go until I give him a go forward aid. So sorry, you might, I'll, I'll fast forward through all this if it takes too long, but it takes as long as it takes. And if you don't have the patience or time whee, to train the horse with this, don't take them on. And also walk on, I'm gonna let him walk on now. I also work with the horse I have. So I don't expect Dale to stand still for 15 seconds before I send him forward. That's setting this poor little boy up to fail. He just had to stand still like he did there and underneath me I could feel that he, there was no thought about going forward. So this is already better than yesterday. Um, I'll see if I can find some footage. I just, I don't steer him too much but I'll bring him back to the track. I'll see if I can find some footage and I'll show you what he looked like earlier. It's just stopping there. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm certainly not going to tell him off because this horse has more go than woe We're under saddle, so I'm happy. Good boy. Yeah, he learned some good lessons yesterday, I feel. Good boy. So I'm just, I just bumped him back to the track. Just want him to follow the track in a nice soft walk and a good low head carriage suits me fine. So when he had the bridle on, every time I did this to bring him back to the track, he would throw his head up and hollow his back because I touched the bit. And what I will probably do with this boy is ride him in a halter for a while and then pop the bridle on but still ride him in the halter, like put the bridle on over the top or just the bit, it's just on a plain bridle, like cheek pieces and nothing else, um, and put that on and still ride him in the halter. So I'm trying to break all of the um, connections he has. So there he went and trotted forward. So I'm going to just back him up and I'll back him up till he's soft in front. No, he's not. Yes, good boy. Drop the rein and let him go. If he jig jogs again, and I just think about the four beat walk here. I don't care if it's a fast walk, 
but the minute he gets out of that walk four, one, two, three, four, one rhythm, he will back up. And I just want to um, tell you that if this isn't going to work like other horses. You can turn a circle. That did not work for him. I tried it and it didn't work. But when you back a horse like this up that's quite forward, you can get a horse that's going to rear. So you never block the horse with both reins in front. Even though I've only got the halter on, I don't block him on both sides of it. I, I, it's like a squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good boy. Good boy, Dale. So I'm pretty happy. He might have even just got a little spook over there because it is windy, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was a spook. He broke out of the walk and I need to make it black and white for him. And it is really windy there. He's done it again, so we'll go backwards. And he has to be soft in front. Good, which means he can't be leaning on my halter. And then I drop the reins completely. And I don't pick the reins up until he's done it. I can feel him going to do it, but it's no good um, stopping. That's how you end up with a jig jogger. It's no good stopping him from doing it. You have to let him make the mistake here and then explain to him that that's not what you want. Good boy. So we'll do this for a little bit. When this horse feels pretty solid in the walk to me, I will then ask him to trot. Good boy. I'll fast forward through some of this for you guys so you don't actually have to watch it all. Um, sure, it can be like watching paint dry just when he's just walking. But I need to wait until I feel that he's completely relaxed underneath me. Good boy. Such a good boy. I'm going to turn him around and go the other way. Good boy. Okay, so I'm going to turn him here. Good. Good boy. And as I turned him, I would I saw his I like to see his head drop. And I also when I take the rein for turn, I um, he must do it softly. And I'm not sitting here in the saddle like, oh my God, he's gonna do something. I'm just sitting here relaxed. I move, I don't, I'm not rigid. Good boy. This is certainly a lot better than he has been. Good boy. Nice low head, good boy. Good boy. Let's keep him on the track with that rein and drop it. I am so, so much happier with the halter on because he doesn't chuck his head up when I touch it. Good boy. What a clever boy. Chewy, do you have to lay right there? Hey? Do you have to lay right there? Good boy. Yes, good boy. So he feels pretty solid in the walk this way. It's a quick walk, but that's okay. It's still a four beat walk. And I might ask him to go up into a trot in a minute, but I'll just wait and see. Feels like he's just speeding up a bit. And I don't want to um, ask him as he falls into it, like falls into it, and then I ask him, good boy. This is so much better, guys. Good boy. He noticed himself in the mirror yesterday for the first time and as we were trotting towards the mirror and went, oh my God, all right, pretty happy. Now, the other thing this horse does have is a little bit of a fixation on getting to the gate. So I am gonna ask him to trot, but I'm gonna ask him to trot away from the camera because I wanna set him up to win, not fail. If I asked him to trot now, there's every chance he could think, wanna get to the gate and hurry off. So when I do ask him to trot in a minute, I'm gonna ask him to trot if he goes really fast, I'm going to put him on a bit of a circle and bend him and then I'm going to let him go when he drops his head and he slows a little. 
That will be the aim because I want him to learn to go in a lower head carriage. And when I touch the bit, eventually I want him to give to it. So I'm going to just shorten my reins here. I'm going to go bump, bump. Good. Good. Now his head's up really high here and I don't like it. So I'm just going to bend him. Good. Yes. Good. This way. Good. Yes. Left. Okay, this is where he was yesterday. You see himself, he's trotting towards himself. He's like, oh my God, there's a horse coming at me. Good boy, and he spooked, didn't you, lad? Yeah, he's you. All right, so he's, that's better. So when he gets a bit high, I like to bend him and then let him go. Bend him, yeah, let him go. So every time I bend him and he drops his head, I let go of the feel of the um, halter. Yeah, high head, see? Bend him, let him go. Bend him, let him go. Good. Bend him, let him go. This takes a while. And now left rein, taking him back to the track. Give him a chance to see if he'll soften. Don't want him going like this. It's not good for him. So bend him, let him go. Bend him, let him go. Bend him, let him go. Good boy. Yes, he's got that inside. Yes, yes, good boy. Sorry, guys, I really do like to praise my horses when they do stuff right good. Bend him, let him go. It's a fast trot, but that's okay. He doesn't feel out of control. Bend him. He's tied on my rein, yes. Now I'm going to sit down and see if he'll follow my seat into a walk. Bend him, bend him, bend him. He hasn't given yet. Yes, good boy. Now he's going to jig jog. I have no doubt. Oh, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt there. It was a bit of a hop. It never really came out of the forebeat. But it could now. So he's got the entire rein. He can do what he likes. I don't care. But if he goes out of this forebeat walk, we will back him up. Come this way. There he did it. That's, I'm not letting him get away with that. So he can come back and be soft in the halter. Yeah, because his nose does that. Good boy. And it's soft. All right. That was really good. I might see, I might pop a little bit of footage from yesterday so you can see um, what he was like yesterday. Nope. So back up already. I want him soft though. See how he, he's not soft in the nose? There he was. Good boy. He's not in trouble. And it's no good getting cross or, or angry with the horse. He doesn't know. He has no idea. He had someone run on him, jump on him and tell him he had to run as fast as he could. Good. So it's not fair to be cross with him. It just takes quite a lot to undo some stuff. I'm really happy though, this is a good walk. It's fast, but it's a nice four beat walk. Good. Good boy, clever boy, yes. So this horse would probably be a good candidate for a bitless bridle for a while. I don't know how his owner would feel about that, but um, like she's got herself the most beautiful natured horse. He is just lovely. Good boy. Very good boy. Good. I'm going to change the rein and then we're going to trot away from the gate again. I'm always, I want him to come that way. Good boy. I always want to set this boy up to win to the best of my ability. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. By the way, if you're thinking, wondering about his, his mouth, he's had his teeth done. He had his teeth done the first week he got here. And they're fine. He's got good teeth, actually, and a good mouth. So this is all mental stuff. So now he's starting to anticipate me shortening the rein. Good. I like it when horses do that. Good boy. Because, um, welcome. Means they want to work. So I'm going to ask him to trot now. So a bump, bump. Good, and he's learning my signals. Good boy. 
good boy. Heads up high, don't like it. Turn and release. Turn and re yes, turn, yes. Turn and release. Good boy, you're all right. Yes, that's the way. Just not back in my face. I can't expect him to go around long and low just yet. I'd like him to. Good boy. I would like to actually not do anything with the reins, to be honest. I'd like to just be riding him and him to maintain his own rhythm. Good. Getting faster and faster. So two times I turn him when his head goes too high and when his trot gets too fast. Good. There's good. Good. Steady. Good. Turn him here. So it's like he's going to be when I get on his back. I just want him to follow the inside rein. There's a little lick, a little chew there, guys. That was good. Come this way. Yeah, it's bloody windy, isn't it, mate? Good. Good. That's even better. This is getting better and better. Good boy. Right rein, take him over to the track. That's a good boy. Nice little half a leg yield. Good boy. Circle here. Good. Good. Very good. So I'm not trying to control him at all with the reins other than bump him out when he goes in too far. Bend him when he gets too high. Yes. Yes. How was that? Good. You got to see it too. Good boy. Steady. Getting a little faster for me, which that's it. When he gets faster, he lo this is the trot I would like because he's balanced here. You can see that, can't you guys? I'd like him to keep this rhythm. Yes. 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 I'm going to come back to a walk here, mainly with my body. Trying not to pull on his head at all. Oh my God. What a good boy. What a good boy. Now, no matter how good he's been, if he breaks out of this four beat walk, he will back up. You have to be black and white. It's no good being, oh, you've been such a good boy. You can jig jog one step if you like. No, you can't. That's when horses get anxious, upset, lose the plot because they've got no boundaries. They like boundaries. And I've given this boy lots of boundaries. I'm super stoked with that, guys. All right. Good. Yeah, I thought he was going to jig jog then. Give him the rein. Now, the other thing he does not do very well is stand. So I'm going to try and set him up. There's another horse on the outside of the arena here. I'm just going to come over here and see if we can just stand next to Aiden. Oh, good boy. All right, I really hope you enjoyed that. I'll see if I can do some more with this off the track thoroughbred as we keep going through. He's an absolute delight, this horse. Um, and yeah. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a like and tell me in the comments if you have an off-the-track thoroughbred and how you're going with it. Thanks for watching. Good. Good boy. Oops, and he jig jogged off, guys, so he gets a, a back up. And if you're still watching, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm actually stopping, I don't stop him up that end and get off because he has a gait addiction. So we are going to stop here in a minute. Ooh. And if he stands still here, I'm going to get off up here. Thanks guys. Good boy. What a good boy.